The villagers lived a peaceful life, surrounded by lush greenery and the sounds of nature. But all of that was about to change. One night, strange things started to happen. People would hear ghostly whispers in the dead of night and objects would move on their own. At first, the villagers thought it was just their imagination playing tricks on them, but soon it became clear that there was something far more sinister at play. A local scholar who studied the paranormal became interested in the strange occurrences happening in the village. He traveled to the village to investigate and what he found left him horrified. The scholar discovered that the village was built on top of an ancient burial ground. The spirits of the dead were now restless, and their anger was directed towards the living. The scholar warned the villagers about the danger they were in, but they didn't take him seriously. They laughed at him and told him to leave. But as the nights went by, the strange occurrences only got worse. People started to disappear, and the villagers began to realize that the scholar had been right all along. One night, the scholar returned to the village with a plan. He gathered a group of brave villagers and together, they performed an ancient ritual to lay the spirits of the dead to rest. The ritual was long and grueling, but in the end, it was a success. The spirits were finally at peace, and the village was safe once again. But as the years went by, strange things started happening once again in the village. Whispers of the dead could be heard once more, and objects started moving on their own. The villagers were once again in grave danger, and they knew they had to act fast. The scholar, who was now an old man, returned to the village to once again perform the ritual to lay the spirits to rest. As the ritual was being performed, the ground began to shake and the sky turned dark. As the scholar continued, he began to see dark and sinister secrets that had been buried deep within the village for generations. Despite all the warnings from the villagers, he pressed on determined to uncover the truth about the strange happenings and eerie occurrences that had plagued the village for centuries. Suddenly, he heard strange whispers and moans coming from outside. Fearful for his life, he quickly gathered his things and fled into the mountains, hoping to find safety from the mysterious forces that seemed to be closing in on him. However, it was too late. The spirits of the villagers who had been wronged and wronged by the ancestors of the villagers had finally caught up with him. They were angry and vengeful, seeking retribution for all the harm that had been done to their people. Despite the scholar's pleas for mercy, he was quickly overpowered by the spirits and was never seen or heard from again. Some say that even now, his ghostly figure can sometimes be seen wandering the mountains, still trapped and haunted by the malevolent forces that once plagued the village. In 2023, people who venture into the mountains sometimes report seeing the ghost of the scholar. They say that the ghost can be seen wandering aimlessly, as if searching for something or someone. Some say that they have heard strange whispers and moans coming from the ghost, while others say that they have felt a cold breeze or an icy touch whenever they come near the ghost. There are also rumors of the ghost appearing to people and trying to communicate something, but no one has been able to understand what it is trying to say. The villagers in the area often tell stories about the ghost to scare their children and keep them from venturing into the mountains at night. Despite all this, some brave people still venture into the mountains, hoping to catch a glimpse of the ghost and find out what it wants.